Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Lean Media, available on leanmedia.org. And today I'm gonna to be talking about promotions on Amazon and specifically creating a certain type of promotion. And this promotion is called, let's go here, advertising promotions, create a percentage off promotion. You'll need an Amazon seller account, a pro grade account. This is the one you pay money for every month. Currently it's about $40 per month. And then you need to go to advertising promotions and you'll come to this page. There's a whole bunch of different options here. This is the one we're talking about percentage off. So basically what I want to do is I want to offer a percentage off uh, some of my products if you buy a certain number of them. So let's see how that's done. Okay. We've come to this screen. This looks a little bit confusing. And actually, I think it is kind of confusing. I hope Amazon improves the interface because it's not really intuitive how to use it. First time I came here, I was like, whoa, what's going on? But I figured it out and this has really helped some of my customers and it helps my business too. So first step is creating the conditions for a promotion, percentage off promotion. So the first thing it says is buyer purchases at least quantity of this items. The default is one. That means if somebody bought one of these items, they'll get a discount. I don't want to do it that way because I want to encourage people to buy more. So I'm going to say if people buy two. You can also um, change change that uh, to at least a dollar amount. Like if people buy at least you know $20 worth of products, they'll get some sort of discount. But I'm going to say, actually, let's do that. I haven't done that in the past. So let's say if people buy at least $20 worth of products, And here, purchased items, you can select a single item or you can select a whole bunch of items. One, one thing you can do, which is pretty interesting, is you can select the entire catalog. But actually, let's take a look at select another. So I've created all of these product codes. Actually, I haven't created these. Amazon created these automatically. Let's take a look. Yeah, so here's the, here's the ones that I created. So I have different types of products for my brand and I've created different combinations of products, single products or groups of products together. Okay. Um, what I want to do is select this one, all seven packs, large and normal print. So this particular product line that I created, I have five of these. So I'm going to select that one and hit okay. So if people buy at least $20 worth of these products, all, all of the seven packs or any of the seven packs, buyer will get percent off. 1% off, that doesn't really sound too nice. Why don't we make it 10% off? I think that's pretty good. Applies to purchase items. Um, I wanna make it purchased items. Qualifying items means I could restrict it to items that are qualified. Advanced options. It's important to click on this because that kind of spells out exactly what you're doing. And also it lets you add tiers. This is what a tier means. So the first tier, the default tier, I've already set it up here. Buy at least $20, you get 10% off. Add a tier. If you buy $30, you get 15% off. And you could even, you could keep on going and going and going. You can also exclude items. So this would be items that I want to not include in the promotion, but because I actually have so few items that are set up, there's only five different items here. I don't want to, I don't want to exclude anything. Okay. Start date. The 20th is tomorrow. Um, I'm going to move that ahead a little bit because I'm going to be pretty busy. So I'm going to set it up to start on the 1st of March. This is Pacific Standard Time. And I'm going to have it end at the end of the month. So that'll be one month long. Internal description. So internal means what I see. So I'm going to say this is seven pack buy at least $20 get 10% off. Okay. It already kind of creates an automated tracking ID. If I wanted to, I could just actually copy that over. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe add the date to February to the oh, March, 2019. Okay. Now, um, claim code, this is if you want to restrict people from using multiple versions of it. 
I think if you were giving big discounts, you might want to think about that, like just make it a single use. I don't have that restriction. Customized messaging. This is really important, and I learned this the hard way. Checkout display text. Um, promotion applied. So I don't like using the term promotion. I think to some people, some people might not even be clear what that is. So what I want people to see is discount applied, or I want to show Easy Genie discount applied. That's my brand name. Detail page display text. I don't know why Amazon does not make this a default thing. And the reason why this is surprising to me is if you don't check this out and you don't add text, people won't even be able to see the promotion. So purchased items display text. Um, qualifying items, that's, that's pretty weak. But actually detail page di display text, this is the most important thing to show. And I want to tell people, Buy in, oops, buy in Easy Genie. <laughs> I'm having a tough time today. Easy Genie seven pack. Or actually, say buy at least twenty dollars in Easy Genie seven pack products. Get at least ten percent off. Okay, that's pretty good. That's the text that people will see if they go to the product page. So that's, that's pretty good. Display precedence. This is like a, it shows you how far, how far high or low it ranks. And the reason why you might do this is if you have multiple products that have, um, have promotions or multiple promotions applying to the same product. So I want it to show at the very top above all other promotions. I'm going to put that at the top. Display precedence one. Terms and conditions. Amazon, fortunately, um, put some generic text here. I think this is pretty good. Maybe though, as time goes on, I might want to rethink ab about some of the text here. A after that, you can review it. So it'll show you everything. This is your chance to change things if you're not sure about the timing. Okay, so they gave me a warning here. Easy Genie discount applied. Promotional checkout text is too long, up to 19 characters long. All right, let's just say discount applied. I think that's... That's enough. Here's my, here's my customized text, display precedence, terms and conditions, review. All right, here's everything, looks good. And then you click submit. And then what's going to happen is when you go, it's gonna take some time for them to review it. But ideally, when they go uh, later on, when people go to the page, actually, I think I have one here, we can take a quick look. This is one of my products. You can see this line here, special offers and product promotions. So this is this is a not quite the same. This is a this is a buy buy one get one free type of promotion. This is the same idea though. I created it using one of the tools in Amazon Seller. It shows up on the product page and on the mobile site and people see if they buy if they buy a certain number of something, they'll get something else for free. On other pages it'll be like if you buy 3, you'll get 20% off that type of thing. So these can really help get some extra customers or you know, reward your customers who are the, your best customers who are buying the most stuff. For more information on how to get the most out of your media, out of your Amazon selling, out of your other types of uh, selling activities or marketing activities, go to leanmedia.org. I have the book which talks about media creation, metrics, connecting with your audience. If you go to blog on leanmedia.org, all kinds of advice on how to um, calculate royalties, um, certain types of programs you should or shouldn't participate in, in my opinion, um, things to think about before you start selling custom goods, etc. And then if you go to video, I have dozens of videos. Just go to uh, leanmedia.org slash video, click on YouTube channel, and you can see all the free videos I have there. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again either on my YouTube channel or on leanmedia.org.